2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Legends Championship is about to start. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth, and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our feature group today. Hi Luke, I'm very much looking forward to bringing you the action from the golf course for this week's feature group. Now there is a sense of maybe fear, heightened competition this week, as this player has said that they're starting up a rivalry with their playing partner. So it looks like they're trying to beat Colin Morikawa this week. That's ambitious. Seems like a friendly duel from the outside, but could create some extra sparks today. <laughs> I almost just have to laugh. Someone saying they're going to beat Colin Morikawa. Does that even happen these days? He's one of the most consistent players on tour. I don't know that he's beatable. Well, he's been accused of having a balky putter occasionally, but you're right. Iron player as good as Tiger Woods in his prime. Uh, the short game's irresistible, but I think the most impressive thing about young Colin is his mindset. He's got a 40-year-old mind on a 20-year-old body. No wonder he's winning at decent rate of knots. Looks to have chosen the 7-iron. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Now over to Colin Morikawa. Yeah, he just made bogey on that last one. Here's a chance to get up and down from the greenside bunker. A birdie putter waits. Wow, they certainly got out of the right side of bed today. Fantastic start right out of the gate. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. Well, Rich, here's one of our proven performers in the FedEx Cup points race. They've been there or thereabouts for most of the season, and they go into this tournament as one of the strong favourites. It hardly seems a surprise, doesn't it? It's never a surprise when you speak this player's name. They've been so good all year long. They've got to be one of the favourites, not only for this tournament, but for also for the season-long FedEx Cup. Well played. Oh, got to love it. Chipping in for birdie. Nothing better. Oh, that was a touch of class. Wouldn't mind seeing that again. Beautifully judged. Great tempo on this chip. And with that hole behind us, they're currently in the lead with Tiger Woods in second place. And after a bird at the last, they take the honour on the hole. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Now let's switch our focus to Colin Morikawa. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Terrific approach and a chance for a birdie here on the fifth. And back to the play, shall we? And he's down there. Well, by my estimation, they're looking at 110 here. Wow, that one was a fairway splitter. Just a four-footer remaining. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Well, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. And with that, he'll move to five under par. Next up is this par four hole. Nice birdie at the last. Let's see what they can produce here. Yep, that'll work, that's fine. Going with the seven. That's a pretty handy shot. They have absolutely flushed that one. Colin Morikawa, he was meant to be the original and best approach player, but I think we have a new sheriff in town. Colin Morikawa setting up his shot. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks. Our current leader enjoys a five-shot advantage. We have a par three on this one.
And he's down there. You got a read? Setting up this putt 18 feet from the cup. This one's online. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Few players in the history of the game have had a bigger impact so early in their career than Colin Morikara, Rich. Uh, some comparisons go as close to Tiger Woods. As they should be currently right now with what he has done in the game so far in his young career. He's come out each and every week and put pressure on every single player because of his ball striking and because they know that there's no weaknesses in his game other than sometimes the putter, but when you hit it as good as he does, you're bound to make a putt now and again. And each and every week when he shows up, players on the driving range are looking at him going, okay, he's here, I gotta have my A game. Certainly feels like sky's the limit for Colin Morikawa. Two major championships under his belt right now, surely more in his future. Sitting at seven under par for the day, currently in the lead. Getting ready to play their third. This one just outside seven feet to the hole. Oh, so close. This is a par putt. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. Well played, mate. Second shot here at the 10th. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. Now over to Colin Morikawa. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. An opportunity for a birdie here. A good stroke. Ooh, just hammered that through the line. In the end, that will be a disappointing par after such a great approach shot. Leading by six strokes after that one. Let's see what happens here at the 11th hole. Going with the hybrid. Oh, what a shot. You'll take that. Now let's switch our focus to Colin Morikawa. He's sitting there just in third place. Going with the four iron here. A seven footer right here. On a nice line. And that will drop in for birdie. And that will take him to eight under. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. Let's see what happens here at the 12th. Nicely done. Well, I think they're attacking this one, taking it on in two. I like their style. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. I tell you, you just dream about days like today. Greens and regulation, spot on all day. Awesome. That's one of those putts that you're proud of at the end of a round. They all add up. Currently at 10 under par overall. And coming off the eagle, feeling quite proud of themselves. A big chance here at the next. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. Now over to Colin Morikawa. He's sitting there in the rankings at fourth. A wonderful shot. A chance for Birdie here on the 13th. 
Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Setting up here from about 145 yards. Oh, they're dialed in. It's an absolute clinic. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. Yep, nice to make a mid-range par putt. Ooh, I like this. The cover's coming off the big dog. Time to let it loose. Quality shot, that one. Second shot here on the 14th hole. And here we are with the third shot. Yeah, give yourself a pat on the back. What's in front of them, Henny, with this part? This one will run uphill. Ah, that's frustrating. Just a short putt remaining here. Now let's switch our focus to Colin Morikawa. He's currently in fifth place. Wow, what a save. And now this is why you can never get comfortable, even if you're leading a PGA Tour Pro. This is what they do. They mean business. Our current leader now enjoying a nine-stroke lead. You've arrived at a par four. Now it's heading for the fairway. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Setting up this one, hitting into a downhill green. They might be taking a bit less club here. Ooh, back there, horsey. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. OK, steady now. Three feet to go here to the hole. This is important. Big par putt here. He sits in first position. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. This should play. Five feet coming up to the cup. Dee's making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. And with that hole done, this player currently is in first place, followed by Will Zalatoris. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Good shot there. It's a fairway finder for sure. Second shot here on the 17th. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Now over to Colin Morikawa. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Still in the lead now after that hole. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Well, what a lovely position to be in. Holding the lead, playing the last. Good luck. Tee shot is looking good here. And what's in front of them there, Henny? Well, I wouldn't mind hitting the shot, but I wouldn't fancy the walk up here. This is quite uphill. Well, that was fantastic. What a shot from the leader. It has been fantastic to watch all week long. This player is dialed in. That was a gallant attempt. And this putt is for a final score of 60.
Well, Rich, who's the legendary Jim Nance once said, they're now rich and famous. I got to say, that was an incredible statement by the great man and bestowed upon a great player. And this player will be thrilled to become rich and famous. And Rich, that seemed like a leisurely waltz to victory, didn't it? Didn't break a sweat on the way to victory lane. I got to say, I love it. It was so easy and smooth. It was a work of art. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time.
2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Thrilled to have your company as we begin our coverage of this exciting event. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group. Hi Luke, I'm looking forward to bringing you the action from the ground level for this week's featured group. Now there's a sense of heightened competition this week and this player has mentioned that they're starting up a rivalry this week with their playing partner. Well this week Henny, it looks like they're intending to beat the big hitting Brooke Henderson. She might be a kind Canadian, but certainly a fierce rival. Yeah, she's not going to say sorry. Just make sure you don't look in her trophy cabinet beforehand because you might get intimidated. There's some big major championships in there. Brooke Henderson, speaking of big, hits it big, got big game, and is just so lovely on top of it all. I almost don't want her to be beaten. Yes, yeah, she's a born winner, isn't she, Brooke Henderson? This is going to be a tough rivalry, but one if you can win will certainly build your confidence. Just didn't drop. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. Starting the round at even par. Nothing wrong with an opening part, just easing their way into this round. And a par four awaits at this next hole. That one's heading down Broadway. Rich, what kind of mojo do you think this player's got after winning in their last start? This player has more confidence, I believe, than any other player in the field at the moment. This should be another good week for him. Steady on. Big putt for par coming up. And now over to Brooke Henderson's next shot. She's got some work to do. She's two strokes behind so far. This is one of those lengthy putts. Good one just to get close. That's a fine effort, that one. You always want to putt those ones stone dead. Seeing off here at the third hole. Going with a three wood here. Well, this one might need to get down a little. Good shot there. 16 feet to the cup. He's staring down a birdie putt here. That wasn't your best effort, was it? Looks good. And there it is. Nicely played. Moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. The tee is yours. Here we are at the fourth hole. And after that par, they're looking for something good here. Good looking shot, this. And taking aim from around 100 yards here. He shares the lead. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Oh, well played. And that will take him to one under. And this putt to move into the top ten. And how did that shot impact the score? Let's have a look at the leaderboard. And after that hole, he's now alone at the top of the leaderboard. It's time to step onto the tee here at the fifth. Going with the eight iron here. Oh, come on, sit. Yeah, quality shot that made birdie on the last looking for a second in a row here Ooh, right by the hole oh, I don't mind this par putt and down it goes let's head to the next why don't we catch up with Brooke Henderson she made bogey gave one back on the last hole so after that effort let's take a look at the leaderboard leading by a shot after that hole Let's see what happens here on the sixth. Nicely done. 
Well, Rich, it's only mid-season, but you've got to like the way the player has been performing so far. Yeah, look, this player has played so solid all year long, it's well within the top 125. I don't see any issues of this player not making it to the Tour Championship. I'd safe to say they're going to go ahead and move on. Good look at a birdie here. Okay, let's head to the next. And that will take him to two under. Teeing off here at the seventh. That should find the cut stuff. Rich, Canadian golf has had a number of people to be able to hang their hat on over the years. Obviously, most recent on the men's side, Mike Weir is a major winner. But the impact that Brooke Henderson has had on the game seems to have been even more significant. It has been, and, and she doesn't carry the mantle just for uh, women's golf in Canada. She carries the mantle for Canadian golf in general. She's such an amazing, delightful young lady to be around. Her personality is, is uh, infectious. She's just a good soul. And she carries that around to the golf course. I mean, two-time major winner. But what I'm impressed about most with her game, Luke, is the fact that, you know, she is such a long hitter in the game. You don't quite see too many women in the game right now that they don't talk about hitting it long like we do in the men's game. But make no bones about it. She hits it a long way out there. That gives her a massive advantage over some of the other players. And that's why she is such a prolific winner on the LPGA. This is from miles away. What's in front of them, Henny? They've just got to focus on hitting the back of the cup, guys. This is up the hill, but of extra juice needed. This next putt is for bogey. And now over to Brooke Henderson's next shot. She's currently trailing her rival. Let's see what happens here. Well, that's got to have some impact on the scoreboard. Let's take a look. We've reached the ninth hole. Time to tee off. Going and going and going. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? And from around 135 yards. Oh, look at this. Right down the throat. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. That's a good way to bounce back from the drop shot at the last hole. And that will take him to three under. Ooh, this is a precarious position, if you don't mind me saying, Rich. They have the lead, but there's plenty chasing with just nine to play. Yeah, no time to start thinking about that lead, Luke. they got to keep their head down and keep going forward. Cannot think about that lead or people will pass them. Time for the second shot at the 10th. Interesting choice of the driver here. Lovely effort, that. Getting ready to play their third. He leads the field by a stroke. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Eight feet to the cup. Looking for another birdie here. Oh, so close. And down it goes. He's currently tied for first. Teeing off here at the 11th. From about 130 yards here. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. Mark it down. That's birdie number five. And with that, he'll move to four under par. Why don't we catch up with Brooke Henderson? Yeah, she's down, she's behind. Her rival's scooting ahead. Let's see what happens. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. There's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Well... At least it's on the green. That's the positive. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. Let's catch up with the current proceedings. Well, this would be a big putt to make. 
A birdie always nice, but particularly when it's a two. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. And just about eight feet left to the hole. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. And now four under for the day. And now teeing off on this par four hole. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. Handy effort, that one. Playing this one about 130 yards out. Currently in the lead by a shot. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Setting up this putt 15 feet from the cup. This is what they have left for birdie here. Uh, a bit long on that one. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. Most golfers these days, Rich, are, are quite generic style players. It's that hit it as far as you can, knock it on the green, try and hold some parts. But with Bubba Watson, we just got the artist back in the game, didn't we? We had someone who was prepared to do whatever it needed to be to get that ball in the hole. He's just astonishing to watch. You know, to me, Luke, I think Bubba was born in the wrong era. I think he would have been better served with persimmon woods, a lot of golf balls, and, and blades, and I think that he would be an even bigger impact on the game than he currently is, if that's even possible. I watch what he does with the modern equipment, and it's mind-blowing. He's one of the few players, Luke, that I will actually go in the driving range and watch hit golf shots because it is so fun to watch him aim 30 yards left and just try and hit these big sweeping hooks and fades and every I mean it's just unbelievable what he can do with the golf ball his eye hand coordination is simply the best in the game and after that effort let's take a look at how it stands and just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard three holes remaining Luke this is getting awfully fun Oh, he's been putting on a clinic all day. Another beauty by our leader. That drive was simply astonishing. Not afraid to go deep. This putt's for six under par. Ooh, putting for par. And that putt will drop. Well done. Leading by three strokes now. Next up is this two-shot hole. How much do you trust your swing? Go for it, and only 327. Lay up. Bunkers right, water left. Time for the second shot at the 17th. Oh, what a wonderful play. Leading with intent. A spot in the top 20 awaits if they can make this part. This one's for birdie. Nice line. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. And that will move him to six under par. And now that finds him in first place. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Difficult tee shot. Water lurking down the left-hand side. Don't hit it where the wild things are. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Well, there's a very good reason why he's leading this tournament, and that's Exhibit A. Well, it might be an ambitious play, but I like it. Looks like they're going for the green here. Well, it looks like they tried to be bold there, Rich, but it didn't quite work out for them. Wind is absolutely swirling in this part of the golf course. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? Firm back up the hill. This will be a good one. No, that's a tad upsetting. And that should... And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a fine performance. He's done it. He's won the tournament. Luke, the victories. Winning never gets old, but this is getting out of hand, isn't it? Another victory on the season.
This is impressive. To win out here on tour is a big deal, but to go back to back, Rich, how significant is that? Luke, winning once on the PGA Tour is difficult enough to win back to back weeks. That's reserved for just the top players in the game. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam, and on behalf of all the hardworking folks at HP Studios, it's goodbye for now.